All right, Brad Curry with Be Active Toys here. I've been getting some questions on how to do some uh, repair work and how to use some of the parts that I 3D print as replacement parts uh, for the buckboards or the covered wagons that uh, Mark's made for the Best of the West and, uh, line back in the 60s and 70s. So, so the first question that I'm going to field is a little bit about how to kind of mount um, the brace into the actual buckboard itself. So uh, over the years, as I've found these, you can see um, here that I've got several, and let's just take a look at the original. So I found these in a variety of different um, types of conditions. So just kind of take a look here at the way these are. So there are a few different, uh, some differences on here. Uh, this one, of course, has a hole. This one doesn't, it was broke off. And then, of course, I found this uh, at some point. Somebody drilled a hole all the way through this going up into there for whatever modification they made. Uh, so you will run across these in different types and conditions. But let's look and see how uh, this was mounted by um, Marks in the first place when they did this. So pretty simple, really. So I'm just it's just a screw that holds this in kind of a wood screw. So it's coarse. So, and that's about a half an inch long. So not a whole lot. And you can see here some of the differences between the uh, brace uh, for that Mark's made and the brace that I make as a reproduction. Now, when I did the design on this, uh, basically I put and made the hole so that it would fit over the hub that's in here. And then this would fit inside it. Um, Mark's just had the top of this writing up there. It's not really a big deal. Uh, so when I do this, when I place the repair, so let's go ahead and put this back on. Um, there's a couple of different ways that I do it. So, uh, but you do need to, uh, if you want it to be permanent, you do need to get you a, a wood screw and you probably need it to be about three quarter of an inch long. So that being said, so generally when I do this on mine, uh, all I need to do is take this, locate it on that center hub, and then just kind of push it in there, and it seats itself. So, all right, now, I don't generally do anything else other than have that seated. However, uh, there is a hole in mine. You can't see it right now because I have the axle installed, but you could also use that hole. It's centrally located and take your wood screw and ju then just kind of put your wood screw going in there. You'll have to recess and maybe pick out a little bit so that, um, recess or you could use a flathead screw so it'll go in and give you clearance uh, on the actual shaft as well but most of the time uh, it's a tight enough fit so that i don't even bother with the screw i just kind of leave it right there like that so the screw is optional for you if you want now if you do want the screw so and you have this configuration where there's not a hole in it. You're gonna to have to kind of pre-drill a hole that's a little undersized for the thread of the screw uh, before that goes in. But you'll see uh, here, this is gonna be a fairly tight fit in there too. So, um, and again, it, most cases that's tight enough. Uh, I don't bother with a screw, but the screw will just help keep it located and keep it from coming apart if you would like. So. So that is how I mount the brace, the front brace, uh, into the wagons in this regard. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'll be glad to uh, respond and give you some more instruction. And of course, you are always uh, check, should check out the Be Active Toys Facebook page for the latest information on what we're doing in the shop.